Dragon fruit. It has a much lighter taste than I was expecting. Hmm. It smells like kiwi. It smells like kiwi? It looks like white kiwi with a lot of more dots, like a watermelon seed. Okay. Hmm. It's a very light, fruity taste. Almost like a very light strawberry. The texture has a hardness to it. It's not as squishy as a kiwi can be. Hmm. The seeds like to go everywhere, but. I don't really got much of a smell from it. But see, see what you were saying earlier about the mouthfeel? It definitely has a mouthfeel of strawberry. Yeah. It's light and refreshing. Not as juicy as a strawberry or orange. So it's not drippy. But it tastes like a strawberry? Yeah. And I'd say it's more kind of like a strawberry, especially having those seeds in it. Um, the seeds are much more prominent than a strawberry's outer layer, but it's good. And it's not as juicy as I was expecting either. Well, it's kind of like a jelly in a way. It kind of tastes like je like a jelly. I would eat this again. Yeah. You got seeds in your teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh, I bet. <laughs> mm. It's not too bad, but I don't think I'd get it again. Fun to try. blood oranges. Wow. They were definitely darker than I was expecting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is the blood orange? Yes. It has the color of blood in the form of an orange? Okay. Smells like an orange. Hmm. Wow. Nice and juicy. I thought it was gonna be like bitter, but it's not at all. Is it staining my face? <laughs> a little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those are super good. The only way I can kind of describe it, and I don't know if it's like a mental because I'm seeing red, but um, the first bite kind of reminded me of like a high C fruit punch or something. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a regular orange to me at all. It's actually really good. Mmm. You know, I think I actually like this more than a regular orange. I was going to say, you usually don't like oranges. Mmm. Mmm. I like its soft texture, easy to bite through. Yeah, unlike an orange, the skin, or that, that layer between all the pulp isn't overbearing. Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. And it's very sweet. Mm. But 
tastes very similar to an orange. So would you get this again? Mm. I would eat blood oranges over regular oranges. Yes. I, uh, I definitely think I'd get these again. They are definitely juicy though. I like this one a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, what's next? I do want to eat the rest of that. Oh, go ahead. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You took my napkin. <laughs> Star fruit. So this one definitely looks the best out of all the ones we've tried. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh, it's so cute. Cute little stars. Okay. It kind of smells like a pumpkin to me. Like a pumpkin? <laughs> yeah. Like the inside of a pumpkin. Interesting. Oh. Mmm. So that's kind of surprising. It has a crunch. But then it's juicy and soft. Kind of like uh, the inside of a grape, I'd say. Mmm. Has a crispy crunch to it, like an apple. Kind of has an apple-y flavor, but more tart. Yeah, it's supposed to be sweet and sour. That's what it's described mm. as. It's tart. Like a... Like on green apple level. But then sweeter at it. It is unique. I can eat the whole thing? Yeah. Hmm. You like it? I would prefer to eat an apple, but <laughs> it's good. I actually like this one. I don't really think it tastes like anything I've had before. Hmm. It's supposed to be sweet and sour, and I definitely uh, am getting both sweet and sour. Hmm. So would you get it again, or you just stick to the apple? Hmm. Yeah, I would just stick to getting an apple over a star fruit. It's unique, though. Raspberry. Like, um, we had this raspberry bush in the back of the house, and if you got them before they were fully ripe, that's kind of what the same taste I'm getting from this. Mm. I like this one. Not only does it look cool, but it, uh, it tastes pretty good. You wanna finish it or let me take it away? I'll eat the last one. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, do you want to guava? That's interesting. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Mm. 
well, it's unique. It kind of has a gingery flavor. Yeah, it was a little gingery, kind of pear-y. Um, yeah, if a pear and a ginger came together, that's kind of the flavor. So it has a grainy texture. Kind of does have a gingery flavor to it. This smells weird. Like I've had guava before, but it was probably artificial guava in uh, drinks and stuff. It tastes nothing like this. The consistency and the texture, it's hard and soft at the same time. Kind of a good balance. Like if a pear wasn't fully ripe, maybe, it was still kind of hard. So you're saying it tastes like a pear or it has mm. the texture of a pear? It tastes more gingery than pear, but it kind of has the mouth feel of when you bite into a pear. That's interesting. So do you like it? I would say I'm not the biggest fan of guava, no. So definitely wouldn't get it again. Oh, it's kind of bitter. It gets bitter in the back. It's like I'm eating ginger. I don't know if you'll agree, but... I'm not that big of a fan. It's like ginger and lemon. And with a bitter aftertaste. That's an acquired taste. Yeah, finish it if you don't want to. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if this is what guava is supposed to taste like, but uh, I think I'll, I'll pass. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification button so that you can be notified every time we put out a video. Thanks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.